Welcome back to the 2010 Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships. We return for coverage of the men's shortboard finals, 12 of the best skiers in the world battling it out here for the title at the biggest event the UK has seen for 20 years. It should be interesting because we have a, a bunch of uh, very good trickers, youngsters. Nikolai is back, so it should be very interesting. Well, one of the legends of shortboard skiing is without doubt Nicolas Lefrestier of France. But after a string of injuries, his form here at Thorpe is an unknown factor. We caught up with him to ask how he felt as the finals approached. The recovery has been good. What's been hard is trying to remain consistent without the water time. I got surgery in February and I got back on the water around June. So the first few tournaments of the season were pretty tough. My skiing, my technique was good but I didn't get to spend enough time on the water to be consistent. Um, we're getting towards the end of August, so obviously that has changed a little bit. So, but it's tricks, you know, you never know. You can be ready 100% and no, nobody know, knows what can happen. And so as the men head out for the shortboard finals, we join commentator Des Burke Kennedy. So here we go. 12 finalists in this 2010 European African Water Ski Championships here at Thorpe Park. Here comes the Mastercraft and here comes Britain's own Jason Seals. Is there a home advantage here? There may well be a tremendous three eventer. We know him well as a jumper. We know he can jump 71.6. Now it's time to show us his trick skills. Oh no, that is tragedy for Jason. 1,650 points, both passes combined. Well, it's a cruel sport. It's not like golf or tennis. You get one shot at it and that's it. And this is a serious challenger, Matteo Dalberto. Well, we know he can trick close to 9,000 points. However, it could take something like 11,000 points to take this title here in Thor Park. Oh, losing a little time on that. You know, these trickers are doing something like 15, 16 tricks in 20 seconds. And once you have a bauble like that through your course, that really hurts in terms of points. 8-8-8-0, straight into the lead. Very strong performance from Matteo D'Alberto. Now we go to number three off the dock. Zdenik Coleman from the Czech Republic. You'll see him wearing that traditional headband. That's because he's spent his lifetime training in cold weather in the Czech Republic. And that was to keep frostbite off the ears. The Zdenik brothers, renowned for their clean tricking. Lovely toe line and back to back into the wake, but again, score 8130. It's not enough to get ahead of Matteo D'Alberto. Well, we're going to move ahead quickly because now it's the turn of the Frenchman Thibaut Dion. Well, we've seen him at Callaway Gardens, Robin Lake at the US Masters. Here he is now, Thor Park, capable of a score of 10,000. That puts him certainly in a position where he could be on the podium. And as you can see, loaded with confidence. Straight into the line, tricks across the wake, landing the front position, into the back, into the front again. Nice flip with a twist over the wake. Oh, he's on fire here. Now he lost very little on that, I would guess, unless our judges disagree, of course. But he's going for a 10,000 score. Watch the toe pass now. In particular, watch the ski and watch the line. Okay, lifting the ski out of the water. Here he goes, one, two, three. And back across the wakes and over the line into the back position and back to back but going down on that back to back it will be costly but look at that score straight into the lead 10,520 points that is superb well we're staying with uh, France Frank de Boyo next on the water another athlete who we've seen at the US Masters in Callaway Gardens in Georgia now uh, well capable of breaking nine and a half closer to 10,000 points Nice clean toe pass here, across the line, back to back. So, so difficult, but he won't score that last one. Now that'll be costly. When you lose something like an 800 pointer at the top level, it hurts. Adam Settlemeyer next with Frank DeBoyo having to settle for 8,130 points. Young Settlemeyer, well, he trains with Corey Picos there in Destin in Florida. And that almost seems to be a factory for producing wonderful, wonderful trickers. This young man, of course, in Europe, an outstanding athlete, and just watch him in the years to come, back to back across the wake. Oh, that was a beautiful pass from Adam Settlemeyer. Wonderful, 20 seconds remaining. He's well on his way now to breaking the 10,000 point mark. Breaking 10 could put you on the podium. 
Line tricks again, nice altitude. Very easy for the judges to score those. Throwing in a twist on the flip in the back position and landing to the back again. All the audience really enjoying this here at Thorpe Park. That was a stunning performance. Certainly the 10,000s, yes, 10,500 points. Can you believe it? Well, we're going now from this young talent all the way across to the Czech Republic, Martin Coleman, a brother of Zdenek Coleman. Well, Martin is not wearing this uh, traditional arm protector, ear protector, should I say, to keep the frost off because it's quite mild here today in Thorpe Park in the John Battle Day Centre. Now again, he's well capable of getting over 10,000. But this on this occasion, no, no, nine to 10. He's throwing the fist, but I'm not sure why, because Martin, that's not going to be enough in this company to put you on the podium. We're coming down now to the closing athletes in this tricks final. Olivier Fortin from Belgium, a banker. I don't know where he gets the time to train these days. He's got to take the suit off and get out on the water on his toe pass. Beautiful line tricks across the wake, over the line, back in again, and in reverse. Beautiful tricks, and look how confident he is. 7590. No, that opening pass wasn't good enough. The toe pass, he couldn't make it all up in those final 20 seconds. Olivier for top. Now we go all the way back to Belarus again. Oleg Deviatovsky. Well, you've got to have respect for any tricker who breaks the 11,000 point mark wearing his signature black gloves, wearing lucky bib number 13. This guy can take the gold today. Look how easy he makes those wake line tricks back to back. Oh, beautiful. And again, across the wakes, happy with that. He's got to be happy with that opening pass, that toe pass. Now, if he can stand up all the way on his hand pass, this looks to us like a podium performance. Can he stand up all the way through? Across the wakes and the line. And now the flips, landing to the front, landing to the front, and to the back, and to the front again, short, throwing in the twist, making it look easy. This is a performance that we will take to the podium, that is for sure. Will it be first place or not? 11,070 points, that's a stunning score. Nobody has beaten that so far today. Now let's see if the young man from France can do it. Alexander Puto, one of the rising stars. He can trick 10,840. And now he's taking on the big guns. French national champion 2008, in spite of his young years. Back to back across the wake. Oh, he won't score at the end, losing one trick at the end. Now that could be critical because he was looking like he was well all his way to a score of over 10,000. Let's see if the hand pass pays off for him. Certainly something like 5,000 in his opening pass. Very clean tricks. Easy for the judges to score. Clean line tricks. And line across the wake. And back across the wake. Throwing in the twist right at the end here. And losing out again on one more trick. So 10, 8, 70, even not with a perfect performance. That is astounding, and that is guaranteed to put him on the podium, unless this young man, Herman Baliaku, can make things difficult for him. Well, Herman can trick 11,570 points. Trained in a swimming pool back in his home country of Belarus. Novopolsk is the city where these guys train. Oh, but going down so early on his toe pass, that is unheard of for this young man. Can he stand up on the hand pass? He's in deep trouble right now. He might not even make the podium. And you can see it in his facial, ex facial expression. He is really upset with himself. Lovely front flip. And back with a twist to the back position. Lovely tricking. But I'm afraid Herman knows that that early problem, he's going to find it impossible to make up on this wonderful hand pass. Well, the facial expression says it all. So, back to the dock. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this man should not be here. He's just recovered from two incredible injuries. If he even stands up through this opening pass, the world record holder, Nicholas Forestier, well, I will take my hat off to him. But he's showing no signs of having time required to recover from injury. Look at this absolutely stunning hand pass. Nicholas Forestier, you're not supposed to be doing that. You've been off the water for a year. You've had a new little baby, a new bride. You've had huge injuries. This is stunning. Toe pass. 
can he do the impossible? Can he come back from injury? Can he, can he come back from all of the trials and tribulations and take the gold? Well, you can see he's being a little conservative on this toe pass. He knows he's in with a chance. He's in with a good chance. Standing up, front to back, back to front, back to back across the wake. Stunning, look at the score, folks. He has come back and he has taken the gold medal. Nicolas Laforestier, congratulations. It's nice to, have, to feel that people are behind you. I've got my wife and daughter on the side and uh, it's a great feeling to, to know that you're doing it for people who can watch and who are actually enjoying what you're doing. You never get used to the feeling. I mean, I've done, been doing this for 25 years. My first European title was back in 1991. It's been 11 now and still the same, still the same pain in the stomach before you ski and still the same joy afterwards. So that's why I guess I want to do it for as long as I can and uh, keep in getting those feelings. And so a fantastic return to form on the part of Nicolas Lafrastier. A commanding victory here at Thorpe. Oleg Deviatonsky second and Alex Pozzo third. More still to come from the 2010 Europe and Africa Water Ski Championships. Join us for that in the weeks to come.